Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Now, I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself, but when I give these webinars, I kind of like to, to give a little bit of a peek inside of, you know, the the way I think about options, having you know, been in the business since 1993, and, and how I teach my students, of course, about you know, how to gain an edge in trading. And so you know, I just kind of want to throw that out there. And you know, if you're new, it might not make a whole lot of sense, but you know, that's kind of how it works. Implied volatility is that volatility component of an options price. And it relates directly. It's stated in the apples to apples comparison of historical volatility, the annualized standard deviation. But while historical volatility looks backwards in time at the actual price changes, implied vol volatility looks forward in time at what the market expects the future price changes to be. <clears throat> okay, so that being said, let's look at the SFC here, the Swiss franc. With SFC trading at 105.81, the 106 calls, which we'll call the at the money calls, are at 101 bid at 111. Now their implied volatility is 1044. Now that, that's stated in a percent, but typically when you talk to traders, they don't say 10.44%. They just say, you know, 10.44. The reason it's stated in a percent, it's, a, it's a, the annualized standard deviation in percentage of the price of the Swiss franc. So anyway, really what you use that for is, is a benchmark. It's basically the relative price of the options. When that implied volatility rises, the price of the options get worth more. And when that implied volatility falls, the price of the options get worth less. <clears throat> now, Dave has a question. It says, in other words, the market maker <laughs> knows a scared man pays more. Well, <clears throat> yes and no. I mean, think about your insurance company, OK? <clears throat> if if, you know, if there's two people, driver A and driver B, and driver A doesn't have any tickets, never had one in his life, and drives a Honda Accord, and driver B is 16 years old and has 27 tickets and drives a red Camaro, which one of these two drivers is going to pay more for the insurance? Well, driver B is, of course. Now, does that mean that the insurance company looks at him as a sucker? <clears throat> no. The insurance company knows that there's a good, ch you know, they have a better chance of losing a whole lot more with driver B. And that's the same thing with the market makers. If, if, the market, if you're buying options, you're buying them from the market maker, and so the market maker is selling options. Now, let's go back to something we just learned. When you sell options, what do you get? You get negative gamma, don't you? Now, market makers trade delta neutral, and they trade big. Negative gamma is a hugely important thing to market makers. <clears throat> when I was a market maker, well, I can remember days when, you know, if, uh, if a stock would move down by five bucks, you know, I'd lose like $100,000 or something if I was negative gamma. Big deal. It's a very big deal. So it's not necessarily that they're just, you know, the market maker just says, oh, yeah, these guys are scared. I'm going to jack up my prices. The market makers are saying, I'm scared. I don't want to sell them anymore. I got all this negative gamma. I gotta, they got to pay me more if, if I'm going to take on more risk. So that's really how it works. So, okay, let's get back to our, our example here. So with the uh, SFC at 105.81, the 106 calls at 101 or are 101 bid at 111. 
and that's all predicated around a 1044 volatility. <clears throat> As I just mentioned a minute ago, Vega measures the rate of change of an option price relative to a change in volatility. Okay. So, if the implied volatility is 1044, and the implied volatility rises, how much is our option price going to change by? It's going to change by the amount of our vega. Now, you know, even though Greeks can be used almost the same way in terms of <coughs> stocks, futures, currencies, the implied volatility you're looking at here, 1044, you know, that's oh, probably around typical for a currency, but it'd be pretty low for a stock. When I give presentations like this talking about Vega changes for a stock, I'll say, yeah, Vega changes by one point or five points or ten points, you know, you make or lose this. You know, if implied volatility changed by one, five, or ten points. Here, you're likely to see a change of a half a point, maybe one point. Let's use one full point as a benchmark here. If implied volatility were to rise from 1044 to 1144, the price of our option increases by our vega. Now, just like theta, our vega is stated in terms of dollars and cents. This is 11 cents right here, 11.04 cents, really. So if the implied volatility rises from 1044 to 1144, we're going to go from 101 bid to 112 bid. We're going to go from 111 offer to 122 offer. Now, if we see a smaller move that, you know, is arguably probably going to be a little more common, say, say implied volatility rise just half a point to, or to 1094, well, then we'd see our options rise by, you know, half a vega or five and a half cents. So the bid would be like 106 or 107 or something. The offer would be like, you know, 116 or 117. Now, implied volatility can fall, too. It's a moving target. It goes up, it goes down. If implied volatility falls, options get worth less. They get less, worth less by the amount of the vega. If it fell from 1044 to 944, the new price of our option would be 90 cent bid at a buck. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.